now let's see how I mean how we can deal with accounts so we have seen this what accounts are who, who can be your accounts your vendors partners investors competitors competitors can also be I mean can be represented using your accounts but again you have a separate entity called competitor which also can be used now what are the required fields of an account so only two fields are needed to create an account mandatory field account name and owner so we'll go to CRM sales accounts right. so each of these are your accounts active accounts so this is account record right. so here we have a lot of fields one is account name only this field is mandatory then you have phone number for access website parent account account rating and all that account annual revenue number of employees owner. So owner is the one who have access to this account okay so by default when I am creating a record he will be the owner again I can I mean give the ownership to some other user I can assign the ownership to someone else so that he will be able to access it so only these two fields are needed if you when you are creating an account but by customizing CRM if in, in your business environment if you want to customize the system and make website is mandatory so you can customize this field and make it mandatory any other field you can make it mandatory by default if you want to create an account only these two fields are mandatory and some of the other important fields like uh, account number I think account number is not displayed here parent account and account can have another account as parent right then you have primary contact primary contact is important so an account can be connected to n number of contacts right this organization contains 6200 employees you say so when you are dealing with this this company you may be dealing with the five or six or seven or out of them right so here is a subgrid is added because there is a relationship between accounts and contacts so here I can add more contact to this so new contact form will be open up where you can create the contact you can I can mention the details of the contact and add it. I will, we will see that later on so the, here we have subgrids of contacts opportunities which are the recent opportunities of this account then recent cases I mean active entitlement related to this account then we have uh, this is this is known as a tab this section is known as a tab so under this section this tab we have different section company profile marketing so it is going what are the industries belong to a lot of fields are there then we have billing information what is the currency used for this account what are the shipping details what is the contact preferences when I am contacting this account what is the preferred method of contact it can be email phone fax or anything and also I mean are they okay with we are sending email to them are they okay with bulk mail so allow or disallow so if I am sending a bulk mail to all the accounts in my CRM system and if I have mentioned bulk email as do not allow and if I am sending a mail for this ac account the mail won't be I mean, delivered so like that you can set is allow or do not allow okay and accounts can have child uh, accounts also that you can that is again a uh, subject because this is a relationship it is self it's a self referential relationship again you can add a subject for that so that is pretty much about the account record